Capricorn, welcome to your weekly read for the week of August 23rd to the 29th. What I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is that you don't believe in yourself. You have the Emperor coming in, it came reversed in the tarot, and here with the Oracle card. Someone might be very manipulative, very controlling in your life, or you might be afraid of stepping into your own power here, your own entrepreneurship. There's a sense of you searching, going back to your roots, your psychological roots. You have the fourth house in your astrology cards, your home and the roots of your being. Asking yourself what that is. Because I see emotional loss and memories of love, so this could be a six of cups, you know, maybe someone from the past or a soulmate energy, but there is hurt. A lot of hurt that is being sent from your cards. I have heartache and loss also underneath. And it's like you're not feeling secure or safe. The seventh house, which has to do with partnerships, long-term partnership, it could be romantic or business-wise. This area of your life is about long-term, significant partners, romantic business or family. Something has happened where the communication maybe has been difficult. Um, I definitely see here five of wands in reverse. So this is, you know, difficult, you know, competition. Um, a lot of drama happening but it is reversed so you're coming out of it but it's you're feeling left out you, you're not feeling safe you're not feeling cancer energy the fourth house has to do with feeling home and you're not feeling that there's a lack of balance you know the yin and yang is coming up here a need for more balance within yourself because there has been deceit comes also here with the seven of sword there has been shady stuff happening and maybe it's coming up in the at the surface right now with this full moon in aquarius which is the second full moon in aquarius in a month which is a very rare occurrence which is bring for all of us a lot of deep movement shifts um clarity where there wasn't before you know the moon is a lot of illusions here that we see in the seven of swords um shady stuff stuff happening behind your back and right now, you might see that maybe what you thought was is not. What you thought was the truth wasn't. And, but the thing is, Capricorn, just you have to see here that there's a lot of abundance around you. And you have here Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence and valuables as well as blossoming abundance so it is for your grabs but you might be needing to get into this emperor mode which gets into more of its full power to strategize and think the thinking man here look at this crystal quartz what is truly significant in your life and let go of what doesn't serve you because they're saying here, say no. So in a particular relationship for some of you, there's a need to say no. And it could also have to do with a business partnership, which you your gut feeling your, your, is telling you, no, this is not working. This is not me. You have to let it go. And I can feel that you might be trapped in fear. And again, that's feeling safe within this relationship or this um, particular situation. And also not feeling safe of maybe letting go because it's hard to close a door. Because when we close that door, we don't know where we're going. But here they're really saying that you need to rise and shine. That at this time, you need to go against the grain. Number four is significant for a lot of you. Four, again, this fourth house has to do with stability, foundation. What are you, what is the foundation of stability in your life? How can you create that if you don't have it? If you don't feel, if the foundation of your life is crumbling at this time. Venus is about creativity, being creative, creating this new life for yourself. 
Know your worth, skunk spirit. Take the lead, stag spirit. Spirit has your back. So if you're feeling any type of fear, just know that this is the right move. This reading can help you not be in this two of pentacles, weighing your options, not knowing what decision to make. You're supposed to be moving on. And there's a fear there because the three of wands, you know, is reversed. The ship that you thought were going to be coming are not coming. And you're holding back here with the four of pentacles. So electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. You can make your life, the dream life happen. It's all up to you. You have legacy of light here. Whatever you're going to be starting now, it could have to do with online stuff. You know, maybe it could be another source of income as you are transitioning from your job and you're just deciding this is not what I want. And, you know, being smart about it, having this strategy that we saw before and slowly but surely putting some time in something that you truly desire and now bringing conscious connections which maybe you haven't had until now where it's been a bit unconscious you know uh, meaning that you've attracted the people in your life that were not actually had your back because i don't see them having your back here trust yourself Relax the hold of a darkness and be at cause. What is your cause? What is the one thing that nobody can take away from you? Your song. The song of the siren, the call, summoning voice to acknowledge. Acknowledge your voice. Let this heaviness lift here. Burdens are cast away, weightlessness. When we feel heavy, it's because we are not aligned with our mission, our life, with our heart desires. Because when we feel joy is a higher frequency, we feel lighter, we want to do this, that, that, and the right person, the right people around us, they don't drain us, you know? Farewell to the moon, and that's calling to this full moon Aquarius on August 22nd. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar cycles and the lunar light. So clarity might be definitely coming for you, and you might want, you know, Aquarius has to do with really following and bringing your uniqueness into life. And only when you do that... Will you bring the right connections, the right community around you? Because you will be authentic into with who you are. So then you will bring that to you as well. Now, getting into the tire a little bit here. You start with the King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Three of Wands in reverse. So, you being afraid of riding this wave, of getting out there, being very conservative, you know, keeping things for yourself, keeping, being a little bit in lack mentality here. So what I see here is from that issue, there's a need to go back to zero, to yourself, to more balanced emotion. The King of Cups is a water energy. It's someone who gets clarity from having their mind drop into their heart and get into a more calm and co cool and collected attitude and presence because what we see is that with the three of pentacles in reverse the the teamwork hasn't been there there has been disalignment here no collaboration it could be within the family you don't feel supported you know shady stuff happening right <laughs> see this family wants to get out it hasn't been supporting you see and but you're releasing that heaviness five of cups is the emotional burdens that you are choosing to let go of this heaviness but at this time in this week 
Capricorn, what I see is that you stay, you finish with this two of pentacles where you're still weighing up your options and you have a hard time moving on. Knight of sword in reverse, chariot in reverse. You have a hard time taking control again of your the reins of this chariot. You have a hard time focusing. And this knight of sword, you know, air energy is normally rush rushes, you know, towards someone or towards a path communicates and you have there seems to be someone or you having a hard time doing that so definitely issues in communication here in your situation things not being things not really having any direction so what you're asked to do here is to step into your queen of wands this queen is magnetic, is full of passion, of life, of follows her heart desires and is, you know, beautiful. She is confident. She can do anything. Follow your passion and balance your emotions because you can do this. You are safe. Just you need to bring your uniqueness into life. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what the dream to them have to say to finish up here for this week. The one thing you need to remember as you're going through this transition is that you're safe and that spirit has your back. And most importantly, know your worth. Sing your song. Capricorn, August 23rd to 29th. Peace. Persuasion. It's all about how you see the situation. If you're looking for the negatives, you will find them because there are many. But try concentrating on the positives. There are plenty of them too. And that's kind of this two of pentacles, yeah? Kind of going back and forth between more of the darkness, the negative, and the positive. And right now you need to choose that. You know, it's the, the glass of water half full, half empty, yeah? What are you going to choose? Our perceptions, what we create, is only a reflection of who we are inside. So, just remember that. You can choose in every moment to be positive and move forward. It's your choice. You have free will. Here we go. Trust. Don't trust what you're being told. There's more to this situation. Yeah. The answers lie within the finer details which are not being shared with you. So definitely here a need to get clarity through meditation to use those, this energy of this uh, full moon Aquarius on Sunday because it's going to be really powerful here. Let me see one more. Yeah, it's two more. Success. You're worthy of this success. Allow these feelings of accomplishment to fill you with contentment and self-satisfaction in your achievements. So you can do this. Whatever you're going to be starting now will be a legacy of light, remember? And we have this thing again. Someone is protecting you from the truth because they're worried about your response. It's not their decision to make. You're tougher than they think. Okay? So... Just remember that. Finally here, Capricorn. Become discriminated by the people you choose to help. There are too many people in your life who don't take responsibility for themselves and instead rely on you to sort it out for them. Yeah, this lack of balance, you know, it feels like things have not been said truly um, to you. And I'm really sorry. But, you know, this is what is... It's life. We all go through those uh, experiences. For us to get clear, you know, to to become, to go deeper within ourselves and find the safety within ourselves, not with the external world. Because once you find this calm dignity within you, this strength and this worth, this confidence inside yourself, trust yourself, 
then you don't need other people, basically. You know, this Four of Pentacles, she's, she's not with the community here. But once you step into your power, your true power, and you get clarity, yeah, you attract the right people and you see you're more laser focused with the chariot. You can see you have a clear vision. Okay? So Capricorn, I hope this was helpful for you. Please step into your power. Okay? You are the emperor. You are the entrepreneur. You can do this. Okay? And take good care of yourself. I'll see you next week.